Hello everyone, my name is Michael Campion, and I play Jackson Fuller on Netflix's Fuller House, and I'm here with Celebrity Hotspot. Well, I mean, in all honesty, I've been alright. I think the only major difference is that uh, the acting industry is kind of taking a pause, but besides that, I mean, I'm just really thankful to have food on my table, you know, um, my family has an income, which is more than, you know, most right now, and that's really sad to say that I, I, I used to take a lot for granted, but this has really put things in perspective for me, so I, I've been thankful for a lot of things, I guess, I that wasn't even on my radar, to be honest with you. Oh boy, yeah, for sure, <laughs> I mean... You know, uh, sitting here, thinking, you have a lot of time to think. Sometimes you go down the rabbit hole, a lot of soul searching. You know, what do you like to do at the end of the day if you don't have anything? Uh, how do you keep in contact with friends? Uh, a lot of things that I never would have thought about if quarantine would not have put me in that position. Uh, gosh, it changes from day to day, really, uh, <laughs> depending on what I'm in the mood for, but uh, the most consistent things across the board have been, you know, working out, uh, I really find it helpful to keep a pretty simple diet, like, you know, no, no sugar, no bread, uh, low carb, high protein, that sort of thing, working out, I've been playing my bass a lot, which is the one thing I really can do, I've been getting pretty good at that, so that's been quite fun, but the end of the day, it's, you know, if something pops up, hey, let's go on a walk. Hey, let's do this. Uh, it just changes depending on what I have available, I guess. <laughs> well, Fuller House just wrapped uh, not too long ago in November of last year. That's crazy to say. Uh, I mean, right after that, I did a, I, I did a play, a, a panto. I... I don't even want to get into like what a panto is exactly, but I got to play the prince in Snow White. That was very fun. And then I came out to L.A., um, you know, I got a house, and I'm just doing my thing. And then uh, March came around, and then I went back to Florida for a bit, which is where I am, which is also where I live. This is my room. And I've been there pretty much ever since, sort of back and forth sometimes, but now I'm here for uh, about a month and a half until I go back in August. Yes, absolutely, 100%. Love all the cast. We have a big Fuller House group chat. Uh, we send each other DMs, pictures. I mean, uh, it's so fun. We're like a second family. I mean, just imagine like texting your best friends. That's exactly how we all operate. It's fantastic. That's kind of a loaded question. I feel like there's so many. I mean, th think about five years of experiences I, I that's i guess the the one standout thing the one thing that really brought in my my worldview more than anything was uh, we got to shoot an episode in japan so i got to be in japan for two weeks that's crazy i mean i don't know many people who my friends who traveled outside the country let alone for weeks at a time well in all honesty not Really, I, you know, play around with my cards here and there, but it's been a lot less because uh, I work at a place called the Magic Castle, and I generally have routines that I make so I can go present them there, but I haven't had an outlet to, to share my magic with recently, uh, so it's been kind of on the back burner, and I hope to, I hope it comes up soon. I mean, I'm thinking it, uh, the Magic Castle will be open sometime in... Maybe September? Who knows? Who knows at this point for anything? Well, uh, I collect swords and knives. I don't know if you guys can see this here, but here's my sword ball. I have uh, many swords and knives. Um, some of them are antiques. Some of them are just show swords. Some of them uh, are real, like, stage combat swords. And I have a lot more in a, in a trunk. And th those are the ones that I don't put on display because that was all that case could fit. Those are my best ones right there. Wow. That's, there's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of thinking. I gotta do, I gotta do a lot of thinking on the spot. 
it's tough to say because I wouldn't want to go back into my past and change anything. I think everything is, uh, I think everything happened for a reason. I'd love to go in the future. I really would. I think that seeing all the cool technology, um, seeing VR like be wide, like like widespread, like Ready Player One kind of deal. That's the kind of future I'd want to live in. I'd definitely spend a few days there, maybe a week. That'd be great. I think I've always wanted to play in an action movie. I think that'd be super cool. Uh, John Wick style, once I get a little bit more well-known, recognized, do some more feature films and all that. Could be like a Tom Cruise kind of deal, do my own stunts. That'd be something. I don't know. Do I... Well, uh, I'm only active on a few. Um, Instagram is number one. It's Michael Campion, and then Twitter is underscore Michael Campion. And I just made a TikTok. I'm not really on the TikTok life, but if you want to find me, it's just straight up Michael Campion with two N's.